Top 10 Ways Science Predicts the World Will End The end of the world is near. The demise of human civilization, the extinction of all species, or the obliteration of the entire mass of rock are few examples of how the world can end, but in the end, it will all come to an end. The sole issue is when. Numerous dates for the end of the world have been put forth over the years. All have so far come and gone without even a single horseman or hillmouth. However, mainstream science is very convinced of a few events that can, or will, cause the end of our world, unlike those more fantastical prophecies. 10. The sun turns on the plants. And then the plants turn on us. According to the most precise projections of our sun's future, the carbonate silicate cycle on Earth will be severely disrupted in around 600 million years when the sun becomes bright enough. Due to the critical interaction between silicon and carbon that keeps atmospheric carbon dioxide levels stable, this unavoidable disruption will result in a sharp decline in those levels. As a result, plants won't be able to produce the oxygen we need to breathe through photosynthesis. The majority of ecosystems and almost all animal life will become extinct. Yes, when plants turn against us, they won't have a choice, but since they will be slowly suffocating or turning into sentient gas monsters, it won't matter much to the people who are still on Earth. What I would do is that. 9. Come, Comets Around 75% of all life on Earth perished when an asteroid or comet collided with Earth about 66 million years ago. That includes the non-avian dinosaurs, who are the coolest creatures to have ever walked the Earth. And additional comets and asteroids continue to approach, sometimes frighteningly closely. Asteroid 2020 VT4 approached Earth in 2020 at a distance of only 230 miles. For context, the moon is 238,900 miles from Earth on average. As dangerous as asteroids are, they frequently originate from the asteroid belt just beyond Mars, which is rather close. However, comets frequently originate from a greater distance, which means they travel here faster. And because they are so dark, it is difficult to see these dirty snowballs. Before they strike a heat source and start spewing the dazzling, gaseous trails they are known for, they don't emit much light. Humans will become extinct if a large enough asteroid, say one merely tens of miles across, collides with Earth. That is, until 66 million years later, when a cheery, elderly, bearded squid guy plays the role of a squid god and raises humans from the dead for his amusement park, Holocene Park. 8A.I. Advanced Incineration A collision that would destroy the world might not happen while humans are still alive. Even in a couple of decades, we might not survive. Many futurists and scientists have that view, and the reason for it is those trusty old terminators. The phrase technological singularity actually refers to a number of various situations in which unstoppable technological advancement occurs, but the most well-known, and generally the most terrifying, is the intelligence explosion. In other words, once we develop a generalized artificial intelligence that surpasses our own, it will be able to develop an even larger intelligence that surpasses itself, and so on, until only the bounds of physics stand in the way of future development. As a result, humans would soon become extinct or, worse yet, become annoying, primitive bugs that require eradication. A naked Arnold Schwarzenegger is then introduced. 7. Ye Old Malthusian Catastrophe Thomas Malthus, an economist and sociologist, stated unequivocally in 1798 that the rate of population growth will outpace the rate of food production. As a result, most people on Earth will perish through starvation, global strife, and population collapse. This occurrence is recognized as a Malthusian catastrophe. Since its beginnings, a wide range of diverse parties have passionately argued against Malthus' idea, with many pointing to the countless technological advancements that have made contemporary, large-scale food production possible. However, the concept has continued to be at least somewhat accurate. Since Malthus's time, the human population has increased by about eight times, and billions of people in dozens of countries are perpetually hungry. Whether or not there will be a global collapse, more people each year are unable to see food as a guarantee. 6 Gamma Burst, Planet Hulk 
Gamma ray bursts, the brightest and most intense electromagnetic phenomena yet observed in the universe, are no laughing matter. When two neutron stars collide, or when a giant star collapses to become a black hole or neutron star, the resulting explosions are very powerful. Gamma ray bursts emit so much energy that they can be compared to the sun's lifetime energy output in a few seconds. Yeah. Fortunately, the only gamma ray bursts we've seen were in distant galaxies. Because they are sufficiently far away, we haven't noticed any of their effects, except for a slight light. The second worst mass extinction in Earth's history, the late Ordovician, is thought by many scientists to have been caused by a gamma ray burst. If that were to happen again, hopefully an entire planet would be populated by hulks and hulk-like creatures. If you could only see a hulk sloth, it would be entirely worthwhile. 5A Super Eruption No, we don't mean a fantastic Eddie Van Halen solo, rather, in this instance, we mean a super volcanic explosion. Additionally, the Geological Society asserts that the question is when, not if. This is due to the regular occurrence of large volcanic eruptions, which only qualify as super eruptions if they spew at least 240 cubic miles of volcanic material. Geologists believe there was more that has yet to be discovered. Of the over 60 that are known to have happened, each one had the capacity to bring about species-level extinctions and its own many ice ages. Yellowstone may be the downfall of many Americans and Canadians in a few thousand years, while it won't pose a significant threat to humanity today, much to the delight of many who live in European vacation cities. For diatoms, emphasis on the die. A class of algae known as diatoms is well known to non-scientists for its vibrant, angular cell walls. Diatoms are renowned among scientists for producing up to half of the oxygen on the earth annually and for making up to half of the biomass in our oceans. They are significant. That's why if they started acting differently, it would be a much bigger concern. Joe Kirschvink, a geobiologist at Caltech, has expressed worry that diatoms would rationally switch to abundant salt if any number of climate changes made it impossible for them to obtain water, which they need to produce oxygen. They would then create lethal chlorine gas using this salt. Given their numbers, the great majority of life on Earth might be wiped out very fast. 3. Stable Orbit, Schmabel Schmorbit Even though it may be painful, the Earth's orbit around the Sun is unstable. The Earth has changed throughout its existence and will keep changing till the end. That outcome may even result from the change. Worse, altering the orbit of any other planet might have the same effect. Jupiter's powerful gravity pulls on other planets and bodies in the solar system, acting as if it were a miniature sun in our solar system. When the large planet traps asteroids that may otherwise approach the inner solar system, this can be incredibly helpful. But it can also be disastrous since it's possible that enormous Jupiter will someday exert such a force on tiny Mercury that the small rock will collide with the Sun, Venus, or perhaps Earth. Two fungi among our graves. A global fungal pandemic is not simply a story device for The Last of Us, it is really possible. Cordyceps, a fungus genus that causes zombification in many of its host animals, has received a lot of attention. The chytrid fungus is another group of organisms that is currently causing all frog species to go extinct worldwide. When compared to bacterial and viral infections, which have been the cause of millions of deaths, fungal diseases are poorly understood, which is a problem. Fungal illnesses are everything but fun, whether they result in actual zombies or just a long, agonizing death. Just a gal, I suppose. 1. The Snowball, sometimes known as the entire list at once. The majority of them all at once is unquestionably the most terrifying. Even worse, the majority of scientists tend to believe it will happen. And shortly. In the coming decades, weather patterns will be significantly impacted by climate change, becoming ever more irregular and extreme. In addition, as average temperatures rise, more disease-causing bacteria will be present. As populations continue to rise, food will become more limited since a large number of plant and pollinator species, including bees and bats, will have perished, the bats from another fungal illness. 
In addition to reducing the quantity of photosynthesizers in the ocean, pollution and ocean acidification will also significantly disrupt many other ecosystems. Overall, the closest and most likely cause of the planet's demise is a slow, stealthy, multi-pronged onslaught by us. That's for now. We appreciate you for being here. View more our channel videos.